Is the Spoon Boy returning in The Matrix 4? The upcoming fourth Matrix film may open up the possibility for unanswered questions to finally be answered. For example, who was the Spoon Boy? The odd child that warned Neo about the real world. The Spoon Boy is one of the Matrix's most mysterious characters due to his knowledge that is far beyond any other program or human in the story. Welcome to Matrix Explained, and today, we're going to take a deeper look into who or what is the Spoon Boy and if we will see him in the Matrix 4. Welcome to the desert of the real. The first time we see the boy is at the home of the Oracle where Neo is taken to meet for the first time. He is not the only child at the house that exhibits supernatural abilities though. The boy shows off his powers to Neo by bending a spoon with his mind. The boy gives Neo one of the spoons and tells him, Do not try and bend the spoon. That's impossible. Instead, only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no spoon. There is no spoon? Then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends, it is only yourself. Interesting how the spoon boy knows that the world is not real, that the spoon does not exist, and because of that, reality can be manipulated. But there is something else. In The Matrix Reloaded, Neo receives a gift at the city of Zion, the supposed real world. Someone had sent him a spoon which could only mean that the boy somehow sent him the item from within the Matrix, perhaps as a reminder to Neo that the world he is living in is not real, that the city of Zion is part of the Matrix, part of the same simulation. Neo must have realized this, because after receiving the spoon, he began to use his powers outside of the Matrix. This was instigated thanks to the child's gift. So the influence of this character in the Matrix story is much greater than we thought. This was later confirmed even further during Neo's conversation with the Architect. Neo was convinced that he had control over his life, that he was the savior of humanity. But the Architect told him a different story. Neo was just another part of the Architect's method of control. Neo may still be asleep, connected to another simulator within the Matrix. We got a little off track there. Let's go back to the Spoon Boy. So, how come he knows so much about the world? Apart from the Matrix films, there are comic books, video games, and prequel stories. We meet the Spoon Boy once again in the comics, interacting with other people, revealing to them the truth of the Matrix. As it was in the Artistic Freedom comic, where he revealed to the female sculptor that her creations existed in the real world. This revelation caused the woman psychological trauma. This comic proves that the boy not only knows about the nature of the Matrix, but also knows what the Sentinels look like, the machines from the supposed real world. Regardless of him being a human or a computer program, the important thing is that the Spoon Boy has seen the apparent real world. He probably knows more than what he should. That's why he was able to send Neil the Spoon. But who is he, officially? The Spoon Boy is one of the Oracle's wards. Like the others under her care, he is considered a potential. These kids are taught of the ways of the Matrix. The Spoon Boy in particular is quite proficient in telekinesis and wisdom, which makes him stand out from the other characters, including the Chosen One. But why is the Oracle looking after these children? Is she purposely searching for others like them? What if the Oracle is in charge of looking for children who demonstrate supernatural abilities in the Matrix in order to groom them to be the next Chosen One? What if the Spoon Boy is meant to be the next Neo? He may be neither a computer program or machine based on his words to Neo. That it is not the spoon that bends, but the person. It sounds like he's speaking from the perspective of a human who knows that everything is a simulation. The perspective of a person with knowledge of the truth. In this recently leaked photograph from the set of Matrix 4, we can see Neo and Trinity on a motorcycle together. In the picture, Neo doesn't look the same as he did in the previous movies. His hair is long and he has a beard. Trinity, on the other hand, is dressed in a similar fashion as she did in the previous movies. But Neo looks frail. 
He looks like an ordinary person. He looks like Thomas Anderson. Which leads us to believe that here he has no powers, which is why he is being transported by Trinity on a motorcycle. Maybe we will be introduced to a new version of Neo that has been brainwashed by the machines, forgotten of what he once was. Remember that the machines did offer this possibility to Cypher, promising him fame and fortune, to re-enter the Matrix with no memories of the real world, but only after he succeeded in sabotaging the Resistance. So it is possible that this Neo doesn't remember anything from the previous movies. Maybe he already met Morpheus, but this time he chose the blue pill. But what does all this have to do with the Spoon Boy? If the boy really is to be the next chosen one, then Neo wouldn't play the same role in the next movie. Neo would have to remember when he was the chosen one, and probably stop the new chosen one, the Spoon Boy. Perhaps the boy is also brainwashed and is being held somewhere under control only to have his abilities activated when the time is right. Don't forget that the entire purpose of the Chosen One is to keep people under control. It is a lie fabricated by the Architect, so Neo would have to reveal the truth to the new Chosen One. And what is the truth? That there is no spoon. Reality is a lie that includes the supposed real world, the city of Zion, and the Saviors. Neo might switch roles and become the new Morpheus. Now there is another possible scenario, and that is that the Spoon Boy is actually a copy or clone created by the Matrix to turn it into the Chosen One. Remember when the Architect mentioned that he had already interacted with six previous Chosen Ones? They were all errors in the code, predicted by the Architect himself. Maybe this means that the boy is being designed to be a type of anti-Chosen One, a system of control that is activated to stop the anomalies that occur and thus avoid restarting the Matrix. The Architect seeks stability in the Matrix, to create a version that does not need to be restarted. Changes happen with each new version of the Matrix. Maybe in this next version, it creates an extremely powerful program with human development, capable of modifying the Matrix as if it were the Chosen One, since they share code, designed to stop the anomalies when they occur. The Spoon Boy may pose a threat to Neo, an even greater threat than Agent Smith, for which Smith was powerful, but only reached his full potential at the end of the Matrix Revolutions. Unlike Neo who acquired his powers in adulthood, the boy has been training since birth. One last interesting story possibility is that Neo himself was one of these children, that Neo and the Spoon Boy are programs, not humans. Now is this even possible? This is Rowan Witt, the actor who played the Spoon Boy, now in his 30s, He's an optimal age to take on the role of the new Chosen One, though he hasn't worked in any other major films besides The Matrix, which makes the possibility of him reprising his role as the Spoon Boy very unlikely. If the Spoon Boy is to return, he will most likely be recast. But who knows, maybe we'll get a spin-off movie or series that focuses on the story of the Spoon Boy. Who or what do you think is the enigmatic Spoon Boy? Will he return in the next Matrix movie? Could he possibly be the new Chosen One? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.